The bass, same as with its guitar counterpart, is no exception in needing good amplification in order for it to deliver vital sounds. And what better way to achieve it than with a bass amplifier that has the right amount of volume output, tone shaping capabilities, and other useful features built in with the amp. Ampeg BA210 The Ampeg BA210 comes ready with 450 watts RMS of solid state power by using its built-in 2x10-inch custom speakers and also includes a high-frequency 1-inch tweeter to help register the needed top-end sound. The Ampeg BA210 is true to its core in offering a simple yet steady solution to all bassists out there who are looking for a reasonably priced bass combo amp that can generate serious bass tones right out of the box and has the kind of sought-after volume capacity to effectively cut through the mix when playing in a full band scenario. The BA210 is the flagship model of the newly redesigned BA series of bass combo amplifiers by Ampeg. It is housed in a monitor wedge cabinet with front panel controls so players can engage the knobs and buttons easily. Then, aiming the carved out tones not just on ground level when the amp is upright, but also high above the floor in side tilt position. Controls for the amp are blend plus a drive for the bass scrambler overdrive section, minus 15 dB pad for active basses, master volume, three band EQ, bass mid treble, with an ultra high and ultra low frequency, HF mute defeat horn for a more vintage tone, and aux level knob to control the volume from an audio source. Other useful features on the amp are the set of sockets, consisting of send return to chain effects, extension speaker output to power an additional speaker cabinet, dedicated XLR balanced line outs to connect the amp on a mixing console, headphone out for silent practice, and aux in for playing along using an iPad or smartphone. Galleon Kruger MB212 Bass Combo Amp Known over the bass community for setting an excellent standard of bass amplification, Galleon Kruger is proud to present their MB Series 2 bass combo amps, ranging from 25 watt practice amp up to its top tier models, namely the 2x12 MB212 and 4x10 MB410, that are both registered to have 500 watts of Class D power to be heard in any live situation used for recording session, as well as band rehearsals, because the amps, even for their size, weigh only roughly 41 pounds to remain effortlessly portable. All the MB series base combo amps are housed on a recognizable rudimentary designed all-back cabinet with a GK logo made out of quality plywood. The controls are all situated at the back portion of the top panel, but differs for each amp. For the Galleon Kruger MB212 featured here, it consists of a power switch that can detect dirty power to keep the amp safe, minus 10 dB pad for active bases, gain knob, contour button, 4 band active EQ, bass high, mid low, mid treble to blend, boost knob, and master volume with the limiter and horn switch. The patch bay section of the amp is located together with the controls that include a headphone plug for silent practice as well as the chain out to drive GK's MB212 powered enclosures if needing to expand for bigger gigs, aux in for your MP3 player for practice, and lastly the XLR direct out with pre-post switch to go straight into house support. Hartkey LH500 Bass Head Amplifier First on our list for bass amplifier heads under the $1000 budget, a bassist can consider gracing the stage with Hartkey's LH500. This bass amp uses a classic high-voltage 12AX7 Class A tube preamp circuit and has a solid-state output that packs 500 watts of power to give bass players awesome lows to high-end bass sounds. The amp can be paired with any speaker cabinets of choice or match it primarily with Hartke's line of high-drive cabinets, like the 1x12-inch speaker HD112, 2x10-inch speaker HD210, and 4x10-inch speaker HD410 that are all assembled to deliver the traditional warm tones of a paper cone, and at the same time, the punchy attack of aluminum. To shape sounds, the LH500 control panel is comprised only of a master volume, Hartke's bright switch for added high-frequency response, limiter switch with LED indicator to regulate peaks, and three-band EQ, bass mid treble, and a front panel XLR balanced direct output. At the back of the amp are the effect loop send return jack and speaker out to connect the cab. 4 to 8 ohm impedance and only use proper speaker cable. Fender Rumble 500 Astoundingly compact, lightweight, and with stage-ready features, 
the Fender Rumble 500 bass amp head can create a seismic shift of bass tones, starting from the traditional to a far more modern tone by simple adjustment on the knobs and buttons on the front panel. For the exterior part, the bass amp head is built with a roadworthy enclosure made of aluminum and steel painted in black. While on the inside of it, where the true nature of this amp is, it can pump 500 watts of pure bass muscle to be loud, sustaining, and stay precise note per note coming off the bass. Controls for the amp from left to right consist of a gain, selectable bright contour vintage voicing, overdrive with drive and level knob controls, four band EQ, bass low, mid high, mid treble, and master volume. Located at the back panel are the XLR line out with ground lift, effects loop send return, foot switch socket, aux in, headphone out, parallel speaker outputs, and on off power switch. 4 to 8 ohm impedance and use only proper speaker cable. TC Electronic BH550 Bass Head Amplifier Up to the challenge and great to build on, the BH550 is the middle child of the BH series of bass amp heads developed by TC Electronic to take a bass player's tones beyond the next level. At first glance, this bass amp may look small and has minimal controls to operate. But don't let that put you off, because concealed underneath its small package is a commanding 550 watts of Class D power that translates to lots of headroom. And the minimalist controls is more of an advantage than a disadvantage in finding your way going from one tone to another. Comparing all the three models of the BH series, the BH250, being the smallest, has the fewest controls to dial in the sounds, and only having a single tone print slot to bank effects for free using the TC Electronic app. While for the BH550 and the 800 watt version BH800, the controls are very much similar, consisting of gain with peak LED light, 4 band EQ, bass low, mid high, mid treble, and master volume. Added to the features of the amp are the two tone print knobs to control the amount of effect, chromatic tuner, and mute switch. Moving to the back and completing the amp are the sockets for a headphone, audio player, pedal input to connect TC electronic foot switch, Balance DI output with pre-post EQ routing, speaker out, and mini USB port. 4 to 8 ohm impedance and use only proper speaker cable. Galleon Kruger MB500 Another entry from Galleon Kruger to join the list, coming still from their MB series, but this time around a base amp head to match it with different size speaker cabinets is the Galleon Kruger MB500. This bass amp is a workhorse and has a wallop of a knockout punch tonally, even if it only weighs 3.75 pounds. Moreover, the unit is very affordable for anyone to start grooving on, and not short of power, using its solid state preamp and class D power amp to attack every notes of the bass lines, fills, slap and pop, and playing chords on the bass guitar with utmost conviction and extraordinary balance. For fast tone shaping and settings, the amp front panel controls have a minus 10 dB pad for active basses, mute button, gain, contour, 4 band EQ, bass low, mid high, mid treble, foot switchable drive channel with a boost and separate volume control, master volume and an on off switch that can detect dirty power. The patch bay is situated at the back and consists of sockets for the headphone, effects loops and return, tuner, foot switch, two speaker outs and DI cable with ground lift. 4 to 8 ohm impedance and use only proper speaker cable. Quilter Labs Base Block 800. Enclosed on a sturdy lightweight aluminum package, the Quilter Labs Base Block 800 puts on the table a massive 800 watts of power that will respond dynamically and musically to the bass instrument and tones coming straight out of the player's hands. It has universal voltage power supply to work on any voltage from 100 to 240 volts to play it literally anywhere. The Base Block Amp's only demand to a bass player is to plug it in a speaker cab, turn the volume up, and then enjoy the effortless production of bass tones that can rock the house down. Key features to set in and optimize the tones are the gain with an LED light, depth knob for the low end, contour for mid scoop and high end sound, and master volume to adjust the peak power starting from zero going to full 800 watts. For input and output sockets, the bass app has speak on speaker outs, headphone out on the front panel, DI line out, and DI line in. 4 to 8 ohm impedance and use only proper speaker cable. Ampeg Portaflex PF800 The PF800 is perfect for bassists who feel right at home using a high output bass amp on a lightweight portable design. 
the superior performance of this 800 watt bass amp head, combined with any of the Ampeg's vintage style cabinet, gives bass players plenty of room for a clean volume output, and the degree of fatness projected on the bass tones is always good to be primed to stay on top of a heavy handed drummer, as well as the ability to play side by side with an overdrive hungry guitar player. The controls and features of this amp are as follows. The Portaflex PF800 has a mute button, minus 15 dB pad for active basses, gain control, ultra high low boosts switch, 4 band EQ bass mid treble and 5 position mid frequency control, FX mix and master volume. On the back of the amp there is a power supply switch 100 to 240 volts, on off switch, speaker out, socket for the foot switch, power amp in and preamp out patch, FX loop send return, tuner out, and XLR line out with pre post EQ and ground lift. 4 to 8 ohm impedance and use only proper speaker cable. Aguilar Tone Hammer 500 One of the big boys on the block that really means business and arguably a must have bass amplifier that a bass player can rely on is Aguilar's Tone Hammer 500. This bass head amp throws in a deadly combination of warm round tones and has pristine clarity over the sound with moving power, which makes it a great go to amp for any playing situation. The bass amp is based on the popularity of the tone hammer pedal. By taking the OBP3 solid state preamp of the pedal and then adding a class D power section with 500 watts RMS, the final product when forged together is the Aguilar Tone Hammer 500. The simple interface of its controls can capture vintage bass tones to play classic sounding bass lines, and with every slight turn on the knobs to change the parameters, it opens up other unique and modern tones. Controls for the amp are minus 10 dB pad for active basses, mute, gain, drive, 4-band EQ, bass mid, level mid, frequency treble, and master volume. Sockets in place on the front panel are the input for both active and passive bass, FX loop send return, DI balance out with pre-post EQ, and ground lift. Then on the back panel are the tuner output, speaker outs, and on-off power with switchable power supply 100 to 240 volts, 4 to 8 ohm impedance, and use only proper speaker cable. Mesa Boogie Subway D800 Embodying the qualities of all tube-driven vintage Mesa Base 400 and Base Strategy 888 to the MOSFET-powered Big Block 750 and M9 Carbine, the Mesa Boogie Subway D800 is another welcome addition to their growing line of bass amplifiers that are loaded with all the essential tone-shaping features for voicing, connectivity components to handle big stages, and carrying on its lightweight, portable package is 800 watts of power to bring out the very best in bass sound imaginable. The Mesa Engineering Subway D800 begins pulling out tones using its front panel input section, with three switches consisting of a mute, active passive switch for tailoring the input headroom to your instrument, and deep toggle switch that further enhances the low end and puts an unmistakable sub-low element into the mix. For the preamp features, you'll have an input gain knob with clipping indicator, variable voicing control from flat to vintage scoop, a fully active 4-band EQ, bass low, mid-high, mid-treble, and master volume. Located on the back panel are the DI output with pre-post EQ, mic and ground lift, followed by the headphone out, aux in, speaker outputs, impedance switch from 2 ohm to 4 or 8 ohm, and power switch. 2 to 8 ohm impedance and use only proper speaker cable. Mark Bass Big Bang If you want to fully invest in having a bass amp rig with the name to show, and target the quality of tones used by most professional bassists on stage, the Mark Bass Big Bang Bass Amplifier Head is the right bass amplifier for you. This Class D bass amp has 500 watts RMS of power at 4 ohms and 300 watts in 8 ohms to be versatile in any given gigs. It is also compact enough to fit in a gig bag, like any little Mark Bass amps, and when it starts to run, anyone who hears it will be amazed at how warm, rich and truly explosive sounding this small amplifier is. For controls to set great tones with, the Mark Bass Big Bang has a gain, master volume, line out level, headphone level control, 4 band EQ, bass low, mid high, mid treble, and EQ2 with variable pre shaped filter to cut mids for slapping, and vintage loudspeaker emulator to cut highs for a more vintage sound. Other features included on the amp are the headphone out for silent practice, aux in to play with an audio source, socket for the foot switch to use on the EQ2 and mute. XLR DI balance out with ground lift and pre-post EQ, FX send return, tuner out and speaker outs, 
4 to 8 ohm impedance and use only proper speaker cable. Dark Glass Microtubes 900 Stepping up their game and ending the long wait of bass players that follow the brand, Dark Glass Electronics has now invested their efforts on more than just building effects pedals with the introduction of the Dark Glass Microtubes 900. This bass amp head is equipped with an all-analog preamplifier and a 900 watt Class D power module that makes the amp loud and ready for skirmishing on stage. It is a super powerful amp at 2 ohms, to attach the amp to two 4 ohm cabinets to get the full 900 watts, or play half the power, meaning 500 watts in 4 ohm mode using the switch on the back. For front panel controls, it is divided into two sections. The Microtubes Overdrive section has a drive, level, tone, and blend knobs with VMT and B3K voicing switch derived from the pedals. While on the other side of the panel, you'll have a gain, 4-band EQ, bass low, mid-high, mid-treble, with frequency controls and master volume. Moving at the back for connection, the Dark Glass Microtubes 900 has a speaker out, power amp in to connect a different preamp, preamp out to connect a different power amp, foot switch to remotely engage and disengage the Microtubes engine, and XLR-balanced DI output with pre-post EQ and ground lift.